Okay, our house has boards on it. We're taking everything off the porch. Our last task is to um take these new beautiful guys in. But I wanted to show you some of our plants because I'm not sure anyone will still be here after this wind. Look at this massive flower. I can't convey to you how big this banana flower is. It's like, oh, my hand doesn't do it justice. It's like three feet big. Okay, orange blossoms, but bananas. Let's help me look if there are any bananas we can bring in for the storm too. Okay, I think there's a rack over here I want to harvest. Where did they go? Tiny babies. Oh, those are turning yellow. Oritos, little gold. My friend from Ecuador has them. Okay, so hoping that all of our sweet fruit trees do well. Um, we've got little lemons here. We've got, these are just flowers. Mexican sunflower. Our avocado, I think it keeps getting eaten by deer. Let's smell some lemongrass. Little mango. Hope you do well, friend. Mulberries. I wanted to show you some of my favorite holy basil. A little Tulsi. I wish you could smell through the phone. We've got a bigger mulberry here that we planted. Oh, maybe we can eat one before the storm. Okay, good. The bird's filled up. Some little ones. And more bananas here. So that is bananas in the front yard. Oh, maybe this is the rack I want to bring in. I think those will ripen inside. So I really love these early storm bands because they remind me so much of Midwest rain. We don't normally get gray, rainy mornings in Florida, but it's kind of nostalgic. Look at all those pollinators getting last stops of food while we all hunker down. Here's my elder. Oh, check out, let's see if there's beauty berries. Some beautiful beauty berry. Yeah, I'm guessing with some of these wind gusts, these banana plants will all just fall down. Bird of paradise. I'll go to the backyard, but I'm going to stop to open this gate. 